morning from Airlie Beach everyone. Nice sunrise happening in the background there, about to come above the hill. Um, so today I'm headed wide out to the reef, about 90 kilometres, probably make one or two stops on the way for a bit of a jig. Um, and possibly if the weather stays good, do an overnight. There's a good forecast for this afternoon and a good forecast for tomorrow. So fingers crossed everything stays good and we find some fish. Got a few kilometres to do, so I'm going to start steaming. Okay, I've made it to my first destination. The ride was a little bit bumpier than I expected. It's still blowing around 10 knots, but yeah, it took me probably an hour and 45 to get to the jigging ground. So I'm gonna uh, just hang in this area for a little bit this morning for a couple of hours and just do some drifts. Uh, I marked some fish when I first got here, so there's a little bit of activities. I'll get some gear set up and start drifting. Uh, we've got a sou'easter, so I'll be heading to the sou'east side and drifting north Norwest across the marks and um, hopefully we find some fish. There we go. Good fish on the first drift. Come on. Oh, it just got bigger. Come on. <laughs> oh, he just turned his head down. That's a good fish. Come on. Get him off the bottom. Oh, yes. I just came over a little bit of shell on the sounder then. Oh, it's fighting like a redfish. Oh, it just got heavier. Come on. Come on. Up, 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 up. Come on. Oh, oh it's a really good fish. Hope it doesn't get sharky. Oh, come on. Come on. Up you come. That's a really good show on the sounder. Got him in the midwater. Oh, you never know what you're going to get out here in these jigging grounds. I came out here with a local last week and got some good fish and did a bit of homework looking at the Navionics chart. Okay, let's hope it's a good species. Oh, it's just easy up now. Just got to hope the sharks stay away and then we're good. Oh, love that feeling. Especially when you hook a fish on the first drift. He's still fighting all the way up. Come on. What are you? Oh, it looks like a good fish. It's a red fish. What have we got? Oh, it's a ripper. Oh, it's a Chinaman. <laughs> it's a big Chinaman though. <laughs> That is a big fish. Unfortunately, a no keep species. Whoa. But still, still a good fish, even though it's not a keeper. That's solid. He's got to be a good 10 kilos at least, that guy. He's not a keeper, but we'll do that drift again and see what else we get. Ah, another bite off. Damn it. Mackerel. On the bottom. 200 gram jig gone. Ah, so annoying. Oh, just hooked something in the midwater. Oh, he snipped me. No, please. Come on. That's three jigs. Obviously a mackerel. 
Ah, oh, it's devastating. I'm losing so much gear. Ah. Oh. <laughs> a long tom. He's a big long tom too. <laughs> Such a weird fish. <laughs> Casting for a GT and hooking a long tom. He's a big one too. These are the strangest looking fish. <laughs> Look at him. Like a dinosaur. He's a big one. That's the size of it. How's the teeth on that thing? Let's get some leader here. Look at this beast of a fish. Isn't that a dinosaur? Look at the teeth on it. Mate, he has just chomped that lure. Look at him. <laughs> Crazy looking fish. Let's hope this comes out pretty easy. Right Righto. Eh? Look at that. A dinosaur fish. Prehistoric. Come on. Not the species we're after, but definitely entertaining. Oh, yes! What was that, Spanish? Come on, come on, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. Come on. There's a pack of them. <sighs> Just not committing to it. I hit on the pilcher that was floating out the back while I was throwing the stick bait. I reckon I might have a Spanish here. It is, not a big one, but I will take it. Show a reefy. I want a Spanish. It's not moving like one unless it's a small one. It's going to go for a run in a minute. Sharky mackerel. What is it? It's a mackerel of some sort. Big one, but he's legal. Good old floating pilchard. Not long before sunset, second half of the tide in the channel. And they can't resist a good old pilly just floating around out there. And he's a good eating size, that one, so we'll chuck him on ice. Exactly the same rig that I use when I'm fishing in Noosa. The surface bite's gone a bit quiet, so I've just parked up here in the channel and I'm just Floating these out, I've been stipped a couple of times just with a small 
small running ball sinker. Let's make sure that's presented right. Cast out the back about 20 metres. Let it sink a bit in the current. And that should attract another Spanish. Like where the hook's set. Hopefully it's in the corner of the mouth. Behaving like the last one. Here we go. That's a Spanish run. Pretty light gear here. Went down from the 60, 70 pound down to the 40. This guy's running along the top of not real shallow water, about 20 meters. So it's definitely deep enough to get these guys in. Stop and fight it. Oh, he's dropped him. Ah, I knew he wasn't hooked real well. Well, let's put another bait out and get another one while this bite is happening. Oh, it's a weird hook up this one. Not the last one. Strange head shakes. Come on. a couple of these and I'll be looking for a spot to anchor up before sunset. But it's a trevally, different species. Oh, we'll be letting this guy go. Come on. No one's got a <laughs> On a floating pelly, well, normally you get him on a jig, but I'm not jigging at the moment, so that's the alternative. Still on my Spanish baits, mate. Get him up off the bottom. Oh, he totally bricked me. Oh, there he goes. Man, what is that? Come on, kick. Kick. Come out. He's gone in under the rocks. I'll just give it some slack and see if it runs out. On. Come on, this could be a good reefy. Hopefully, a trout. Come on. Come on. Ah, it's a red throw, you beauty. <laughs> That's exactly what we wanted. One of my favorite eating fish. If I can get this guy to sit still. One of the most beautiful reefies. Eating and to look at. Red throat emperor. They love a floating pilly just wafting down. And it's about the time of day that these guys come on the bite. So I might just continue catching these guys until sunset. Whoa. Right, we'll get this guy unhooked. Oh, I just cast to the other side of these fusiliers and hook the GT. <laughs> I did not mean that at all. <laughs> They've been spraying for a while. Oh, this would be a good way to end the day. Oh, I've got a few lines out though, so it could be challenging. Come on. 
Sunset GT. Oh yeah, come on. Other rod's gonna go off. Just one of that one or two. Come on. I missed a few bites today on these guys. Come on. Oh, I did not expect that hit at all. <laughs> Just came from out of nowhere. I've been having a random cast while I've been fishing for mackerel and I thought oh, I'll just have a throw of the stick bait just in case you never know I'm trying to get one of these guys for a while today missed a few hits and finally at the last minute we've got one come here boy oh yeah Good fish, come on. Come on, mate. Come on. I'm gonna let you go. Come on. Swing around. Swing around. Yes! <laughs> oh. Good to finish on a GT. A lot of casting today, a lot of missed hits. But finally, at the 11th hour, just before sunset, we get one on board. All right, fella. Off you go. Thank you. Yes. Well, unexpected GT. Casting whilst at anchor into the Fusilier School and that was a bit of a lucky fish I reckon but uh, I'll take it any day sunset is looming and just got a good few fish in that last hour so now I'm going to anchor up and I'll put some baits out tonight and see what we catch on the reef oh it's a spanish on the top for sure come on gotta be a spano Come on. Ah, sunset in the background. GT followed by hopefully a spano. Go on. As long as the sharks stay away, that's the main thing. Come on. Come on. Oh, the snippy buggers you go too hard on them. Shit. Oh, well. Single hook, a bit of wire, sick of losing these fish. Just get eaten. 
Don't be a Spanish. Come on. I reckon it is. It's got that silver glow. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is my sunset fish. Come on. It's a good spanner, this one. Much bigger specimen. Yes. That's what we wanted. That's what's been snipping me off. Right, let's get this guy in the boat. Yes. That is what we wanted. Ah, yes. Beauty. <laughs> That's a crack of Spanish. <laughs> right on sunset. Now I'm going to pack it in. I keep catching fish, but this is exactly what I wanted to call it a day. Not sure how much you can see, but uh, sunset in the background. Got two anchors out, one out the front, one out the back. My anchor alarm is on for 25 meters. So if I do move during the night, um, it'll let me know I'm sort of parked between a few bombies that are pretty shallow, but I've got about 50 metres before I'm going to hit anything. That should give me some good shelter from the overnight winds. So I'm going to get some rest and uh, get back into it in the morning. <laughs>